Hey what's guys, it's me, Legislee, and we are here with uh, part two with Harlia Try to Believe. Um We're interesting it's interesting this girl Cassandra has come back about years after he has been in the university. Um they're on, on like a not really a blind group date. I think it might be a, gr a blind group date by the way he was describing it. But uh yeah, we're here. Um we got their backstory, so I think we're in the present right now. This dude that I, I'm supposed to be, this main character, the guy, he sounds like a big ass fucking dick. He called two girls ugly and fat. That's not nice um, to say about, like, I don't know. People have preferences, I guess. I gotta accept that. Um, Doesn't make it right, though, to say it like that. But I guess he said it in his head, so that's okay. But the fact that he's just thinking about fucking someone... Uh, I don't know. I guess that's what grown-ups do. <laughs> I wouldn't partake in this kind of thing. But yeah, here we are. Um, let's get... Let's continue. Alright. Another one who's unfuckable, but of course not for the same reasons. I should just get out of here. This is so pitiful. It's not even funny. That's where Mike... Okay, we got, we got a name for him now. My friend noticed my arrival and forcefully introduced me to the group. Oh my god, this... That's it. This is probably why it's in silhouette. This, my art's not much better, but this is kind of uh, conducive to the person who created this game, though, because um, this this is um, what's gonna call it? I know it just probably took forever to do, and the person, the artist who made this, <laughs> after watching this, it, it, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't mean that insult your art. Um, it just looks awkward. <laughs> Cause it's a silhouette. I don't like silhouette stuff. Anyways, oh god, I'm such a dick too. Maybe I am my character. Jesus Christ. Oh, this is the guy I was talking about. Hey, Tim, come on. Don't be shy. We were waiting for you. Why is my name Tim? This is awkward. I know a lot of people named Tim. <laughs> I almost clicked my tongue out loud, but quickly decided otherwise. Maybe the big chinned one can be fuckable after a couple of beers in the dark. And in the dark. Oh my god. I sat next to my friend. I tried not to look over to the right hand side of the table too much because the symmetry irritated me somehow. He said my name out loud before introducing everybody else. Before introducing everybody else from left to right. I don't remember any of their names. And seriously, I didn't want to use even the most useless part of my brain to do so. All the same, I still greeted everyone politely until they came to that name, that is. And I could introduce you to Cassandra, but I guess I don't have to, right? <laughs> I glared at him, not hiding my displeasure in the slightest. He clearly excited to see my reaction, as though my meeting her again will make me happy of all things, as if it's a gift or something. How the fuck does he know that I have history with her anyway? I said, yeah, yeah. all the while scratching my cheek. A bit, a bit flustered. Similarly, she didn't look my way all much, that much, and only said, Hi. Hi. What? I'm sorry, guys. In a voice that could have easily been misconstru misconstrued as a whisper. Whisper. God dang it, Elias. Let's read. I was grateful for that. Even though I had harbored hatred for her for the greatest part of my life, and probably still do, the fact that she understood my reluctance to face her was what saved the little composure I had left. So even though she was right there on the other side of the table, I was still able to enjoy myself by drinking and chatting with those around me. Her presence didn't disturb me in the slightest, I swear. It's just that in the heat of the moment, I was kind of caught off guard, that's all. After all, it's not like I understood the complicity of my feelings for her anymore. I hate—I had hated her for so long that by the end of high school, I completely dehumanized her in my mind. Added to that, the fact that she had completely disappeared from my life at one point led me to assume that she was dead. So it was only natural that I would be baffled by a non-human presumed dead person looking so lively and cheerful. Yeah, that's a good reason. She was sexy. No longer just cute or beautiful, but sexy. She had on a blue shirt, which accentuated her overly seductive curves with, well, a black skirt that I couldn't see very well because of the table. And her hair was loose and ended just a bit under her chest. 
I tried as best I could not to look her way, but it's hard when surrounded by ugly girls. Still, I did what I must and tried to look hook up with the chin girl in front of me. After an hour and a half, I was on my fourth beer and the first newly formed couple had decided to finish the night on their own. This made things a bit complicated for me. Now the only ones left for me, the fat girl, my friend, the big chin, the sports dude, and cast whatever, the other girl that I once knew. So obviously it became harder and harder not to interact with her. That's when the phone of the girl in front of me, Chin, started vibrating. God damn this guy. She was, became kind of hysterical by the text. I think it was a text that she received on her phone. She said a couple of words to the fat girl seated next to her and took off. The fat girl looked at me a bit awkwardly and said, Sorry, her ex just texted her so, as if her reaction was the most understandable thing in the world. So that ugly chick just dumped me for a guy that had probably flushed her a while ago. I was depressed, but not about her departure per se, obviously. At least the alcohol had begun to do its work. That's when the night started taking a turn for the worse. My friend, who was seated on my left in front of the fat chick, was now seated on my right. The sports dude who had been chatting with that girl before was now enjoying his time with the fat girl on my left. It was then that I realized that my friend, without as much as a warning, had started a group conversation with her and me. So, how long have you two known each other? I was staring blankly at the table, or maybe at the beer in my hand, trying as best I could not to look interested. I think she answered him with something and then giggled, but I don't remember it all too well. She seemed to be drinking quite heavily, too. That long? Man, you must be glad to have a chance to see each other like this after so long. Maybe it's fate. Who knows? <laughs> this fucking guy. He was irritating me. It was so obvious that he was the one behind it all. Perhaps they had planned this together in order to humiliate me or something. That's when I uttered something that I probably shouldn't have. I still don't know why I thought this was a great idea. Tell me. I glared at him with perceivable defiance. How did you know that she and I knew each other anyway? I analyzed his every change expression. I probably thought he would be flustered by my sudden in inquiry. That he would start stuttering, unable to explain himself coherently. But to the contrary, he was surprised that I didn't know the reason behind it. Come on, man. Everyone in high school probably knew about it. Don't you know? Don't you remember? That nasty girl and her group of friends who started all those awful rumors about Cass the moment she quit school? Ah. Uh, fuck. No, no, I remember. Oh, man. I remember still. You were so ruthless. You walked up to those girls and started insulting the shit out of them about how uneducated they were and about the fact that they were wasting their time and had no future. And then you started listing every achievement Cass has ever accomplished, from the prize she won in some piano competition, I think, to the national ranking that she topped with her academic performance. You know, I'm not the type that would ever hit a girl or anything, but this was one of, this one was just asking for it. She didn't even try to listen to what you were saying at all, and kept on cutting you off, talking about some bullshit that she heard somewhere down the street. How ridiculous, really. This was when I was still very much on edge about losing what I had thought was my only drive in this world. Some bitches were bad mouthing her, bad mouthing her, something along the lines of prostitution or some stupid shit like that. It was two months after she suddenly quit school, so anything goes, I guess. But then, since they had nothing else more useful to do with their sorry, sorry little lives, they started, they started some faceless rumors about her cheating during exams or offering sexual bribery to the teachers in order to get high ranking in midterms. That's when I lost my shit. Because telling those ridiculous things insin insinuated that the rival I had always seen as my equal was in reality nothing more than a fake. And that, that was completely unacceptable. And yes, I would have beaten the shit out of them if it hadn't been for the teacher stepping in. Hey, hey Tim, do you remember when you shouted at her to make her shut up? Oh god, this dude just telling me shit. No, even if she cheated during the midterms, or prostituted herself, it wouldn't change the fact that she's way better than a lot of you. At least she achieved everything she ever set out to do. You low-life bitches would never understand the meaning of the term achievement for the for as long as you still live in this world. Do you understand? You worthless pieces of shit. <laughs> God damn it! This guy's just snitching. I remember it down to the very last syllable. I had no fucking idea why though. He said it out loud, not nearly as perfectly as I remembered it. 
but it was still very surprising to hear it from someone else's mouth. I then instantly noticed that she had started to blush the moment she understood the meaning behind those words. This is bad. This was a misunderstanding. I never said any of this to protect her. I only said it because at that moment I knew for a fact that you were head over heels for her and I found it so tragic that you had probably never had the chance to say it to her. So now you understand. You can understand why when I met her out of absolutely nowhere at my part-time job, he points casually towards her, I had to try and organize something for the both of you. So that's why you invited me here tonight? I was then on my fifth beer, and I was not what we could call a heavy drinker back then. So I was flustered, alright, but I don't think people actually noticed it as it was probably easily concealed by my wasted features which were more than pr prominent than anything else. Yeah man, why else? We're friends, right? You look down all the time, so I thought maybe this would cheer you up. Oh my god! This guy Mike, he's awesome! I love him. You shouldn't have. Seriously, you shouldn't have, you fucking idiot! <laughs> this whole time, she didn't say anything. She just looked at me silently with what I can probably guess is- Oh my gosh, you know what I just noticed? What if she had a crush on him, like, in elementary school, and then he just, like, pushed her, and she was just, like, betrayed. She was like, this fucking- he, he pushed me, or something like that, like- Oh my god, boys are so stupid! <laughs> oh my gosh, be clueless. She just looked at me silently, with what I could probably guess is her light smile on her face. Of course, I couldn't be sure since I wasn't actually re reciprocating her stares. Still, I wondered why she kept quiet when we were openly talking about those things which were directly related to her. Then, oh, that's my girlfriend texting me. Sorry guys, gotta go. My useless friend got up to his feet in a hurry. What? What do you mean? You, you have a girlfriend? That was what this entire date Wait, what was this entire date all about then? Yeah, tonight was for you, man. Oh my god, Mike is like, oh my god. Ah! <sighs> Get you a guy like Mike. Oh my god. He's like probably one of the best friends ever in this whole entire thing. This guy that I am is such an asshole. Just go with it, man. He walked up to me and laid his hand on my shoulder carelessly before whispering into my ear with his warm and foul breath. Oh my god. <laughs> Enjoy yourself, will ya? And with this, before another word he could leave my mouth, he disappeared in the blink of an eye. Well, he didn't actually disappear, but I was in talks. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me agree, though. Mike kind of left while this guy was drunk, so... Friends, good friends don't leave you drunk in a bar. So, mm, don't get intoxicated with, with a friend like Mike, because he will leave you for his girlfriend. <laughs> Anyways. Well, he didn't actually disappear, but I was intoxicated to the point where the actions around me were registering in my mind as though in fast forward, life and time are moving rapidly without my consent. This was extremely awkward. In a desperate attempt to end the night, then and there, I turned my eye toward the last remaining couple to ask them what their plans were for the night, but... Hey, have you any idea what the There was no longer anyone sitting next to me. Agitatedly, my eyes scanned my surroundings and then it dawned on me. Only she and I were left at the table. They took off, oh, they took off 10 minutes ago, maybe it was 15. <laughs> For the first time that that night, I made eye contact with her. Her face was flushed slightly red, probably due to all, oh my gosh, all these people leave me, okay, whatever. Probably due to all the alcohol she'd been hammering. It would have been visible to the a blind that she was totally wasted. That's the oxymoron. I didn't want to speak to her. I didn't want to waste another minute in her presence, but social etiquette was forcing me to, at the very fucking least, to ensure that she didn't die before reaching her destination. Let's get out of here. I uttered coldly. She accepted right away. She didn't show any kind of fear about being alone with me, even though we were, without a shadow of a doubt, complete strangers. You should take a taxi, I said forcefully, but she quickly dismissed my words and then said cheerfully, Let's walk for a bit, alright? I clicked my tongue, but this time I made sure she heard it alright. She didn't seem to mind, or at the very least, if she did, she didn't show it. She's drunk. She had a smile plastered on her face ever since we left the bar, and not affected in the slightest by my cold behavior. She looked happy, irritatingly so. We didn't talk at all. This walk, she had suggested, was made in complete silence. That was fine by me. It was probably for the best, to be honest. I thought, for the first time that night, that maybe everything would turn out fine after all. Until she accidentally stumbled a bit onto my shoulder, that was. Uh, so sorry. 
See, her body touched mine. With extremely small two seconds that it lasted, I felt the form of her breast on my arm and then the palm of her hand on my shoulder. It was then that I realized she was a member of the opposite sex. She looks happy, doesn't she? With the happiness she stole from me. If she hadn't quit school that day, I'm sure our expressions would have been reversed right now. Yet she was always the one with the smile in the end. While I, we could, oh my god, I'm so scared! I'm so scared, I'm so scared. what is he gonna do to her? <clears throat> I'm like, oh my god, please don't do anything you guys want. While we continue walking silently, somehow we were closer now that I have helped her back to her feet. Wait a minute, isn't this one of those kinds of situations? You know. The one where I walk her to the closest hotel and she's too wasted to understand what's going on. Maybe if I ask her nicely, she would even follow me willingly. Maybe she's still a virgin. Wouldn't that be wonderful? I can satisfy myself by taking away her- Whoa! Whoa, 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 dude, no! Please don't do this! Back then, but- uh, I can't even read it in this- <laughs> But what about her now? I could- Whoa! No, 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 no! I could probably- mm, I gotta take it everything away from her her pride and most of all that smile mate remember whoa y'all y'all please please this is trigger warning trigger warning trigger warning my memory starts to become erect at these simple thoughts it's a bit a bit uncomfortable as my jeans are too tight for it to grow to its fullest potential i take another hard look at her Yes, yes, what a beautiful body she has. Those hips and those breasts, even her lips seem obscene right now. It would be a total shame for this indecent- I'm, Okay, I'm not reading it in his voice anymore. I feel disgusting. It would be a total shame for this indecent body of hers to be defiled by a complete stranger. Every inch would be stained, her purity gone forever. She would never have the opportunity to feel clean again. I could probably violate her over and over again until her mind becomes as hollow as mine. Now my manhood has reached its full magnitude, it throbs intensely in anticipation for this forbidden act that my thoughts were drowning themselves in. Okay, um, this is kind of getting really dark. I'm very scared for her. Uh, trigger warning again, just in case it goes that way and they actually get a little bit detailed and everything. Uh, trigger warning. Um, women out there, girls who are younger than me that's drinking, please don't ever drink around people you don't know or even around friends you can't even trust your friends either because sometimes there's friends so-called friends that will let you do the stupidest shit while you're drunk make you do the stupidest decisions please i honestly think you should just drink at home alone like don't even drink around people like i just don't trust this world this world gets colder every day as we speak there are people out there who do think like this so please be careful out there guys i don't want anyone just uh, I don't want anyone to experience this kind of thing because it really will hurt you. Um, I know people who have gone through this kind of thing and it's just not, it's not, I don't even like the, the pe jokes people make about this topic. It's sick. It's really sick. <sighs> I'm sorry. I had to get that out. Like I, my heart is beating so fast. I feel so bad for this girl. This guy's a dick. This guy's a huge ass dick. This guy, I hate this main character. Who am I? Who is this guy? Okay. <sighs> Alright. Uh, it. Ugh, God damn it. It throbs intensely in antis anticipation for this forbidden act that my thoughts were drowning themselves in. One simple look at me would have probably given it away, but she's too preoccupied with trying to walk straight to even look in my direction. Imagine the pressure that I have in my pants right now, tainted as if it was the sin of my vile imagination. Penetrating her pure body aggressively over and over again without restraint only pushes me further down this unforgiving path that shouldn't be crossed. And he knows it's wrong! But I've already decided, haven't I? I'm already fantasizing about her virginity, increasing by the that mean by that mean the pain what the fuck? By the mean the pain I would most definitely inflict on her. I want to make her cry at the realization of losing something she will never get back. At the time I will at that moment, I will lick every last tear from her face until she's completely drained out. My hand approaches her thigh slowly. If I could get my hand around her to help her keep her balance as an excuse, I could easily control our destination. That moment would seal her fate. Then I would rip that smile away from her. But please be smart, girl. Please, like, be sober enough to realize this. From her perfect face, maybe at the end of the day, 
I would even be satisfied enough to forgive her. Maybe at the end of the day, I will finally become whole again. My only regret is not acting the part from the start of the night. Wait, my only regret is not acting the part from the start of the night. If I had pretended to be gentle and caring, had laughed with her about how stupid and young we were back then, I could have pushed her even further down the road of complete hopelessness by betraying even her expectations. I her soft voice comes her soft voice comes to my ears out of nowhere. I abruptly stopped my hand from going any further. I didn't notice because of how captivated I was by her learned form. She was looking right back at me, looking at my face of all places. How long has she had been looking? I have no idea. But she saw it, that I'm sure of it, my disgusting expression, already corrupting every inch of her body with my blank senseless eyes. She saw everything, yet the only thing she thinks of saying is, I'm sorry, I knew how much you hated me, yet I- She stumbled- Oh shit. She stumbled- Wait, did they erase? Okay. Then she stumbled on me once again, this time with even less full restraint. Her eyes, those eyes I remember, have they really been this way this whole night? It can't be. I stopped brusquely. I stopped brusquely, and she soon followed suit. Do you have any money? I asked mechanically. Not much, she replied blankly, as though knowing the real question would be asked eventually. Can't be helped then. I took out my phone and input a string of numbers in the same mechanical fashion in which I've been handling her the whole night. What are you doing? I didn't reply to her, I didn't even look her way, instead I- Yes, yes, an intersection of blank and blank. I put my phone away emotionlessly. Tim, I thought- I thought it would be- would have been nice to talk for a bit. Don't you wanna? She seems let down. What does this woman want from me? Didn't she see my face just a second ago? Is she that desperate to be raped by some loser like me? I take my wallet out, grab 20, two $20 bills, and shove them into her hand violently. The taxi will be here in five minutes. This should cover the bill. I turn around without waiting for a reply or saying goodbye for that matter. She doesn't say anything either. She just, she simply looks at me with those eyes. Those eyes which were even colder than mine. What the? Oh my. I'm so glad. I'm so glad she got out of there. I'm so glad that she didn't even press it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? It's only been 20 minutes. Oh my gosh. We're gonna stop here. We're gonna stop at this chapter. Jesus Christ. Oh shit. Oh my god, my heart. I cannot take I don't think I can even read any longer. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next. I didn't even know I was gonna get this work. I'll see. I'll see you guys in the next video in part three of her lie I tried to believe. Um Gosh damn, I hope it doesn't get any darker than that. That fucking sucked. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.